Special guest in the studio, one of our absolute favorite guests, Angela from Esteem Lingerie. Welcome once again. Thank you for having me. How are you this morning? I am absolutely fabulous. Good. Good to hear. You look great. You're always so bubbly, always so happy. It's it, fantastic. It's a great underwear day. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you start out your day oh. with the right underwear that you put on and you go, yep, puts everything in its spot. I feel comfortable. I feel great. You just, it's hard to have a bad day after that. I wish I had known today was underwear day. Mm-hmm. You should have wore some. Yeah, I totally would have. Yes, got to get you into some of my naked men brief. <laughs> I thought it was commando Friday myself, but uh, oh, well, you know. <laughs> All right, what's going on at the store? Uh, I know you got the uh, the BOGO uh, sale on right now. Yeah, we've got our last two days of our summer BOGO sale. Now, so that's cup- buy two cups, get the third free? Is that, <laughs> is that how that? Uh, not quite, not quite. Oh, no. Um, it is on all bras, all brands, all sizes, all styles. And buy the first one, get the second one 50% off. What I like uh, is that you put esteem right in the title of your business. And Angela is a big proponent of self-esteem. Absolutely. I mean, our business, don't get me wrong. I love to sell underwear to women because I know it gives them a great lift. It supports them throughout their day. At the same time, though, our business came from wanting to help women feel better about themselves, build a healthy body image, and learn to look at the world in a different light, coming from the point of view that they're a beautiful woman and they just need great underwear, great clothes that flatter their figure. Why are women so crazy about their bodies? Well, it, I think it goes back to school. Is it my fault? <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. You know what? How many beautiful women that have great supportive men in their lives that they still have those old tapes playing those negative messages in their mind? You know, I don't know where it comes from, whether it's watching the media, whether we just are always looking for perfection in ourselves. But I think it goes right back to school. You know how they taught us those three R's? I think they should have taught us the three B's. Budgeting, boundary setting, and bra fitting. (laughs) Because if you think about it, if you think about it, ladies, how many of our problems start from money management Uh or setting healthy boundaries and, you know, wearing a great bra that supports you throughout your day and what you do. Helps with posture, helps with attitude. Helps with your breathing. And dang it, we're in our bras longer than we're in our beds and our shoes. It is the hardest working garment in our wardrobe. And guess what? It runs at about 100 degrees Unless you're me in your own personal climate, sometimes a little hotter, <laughs> it is the hardest working garment, and therefore it should be the base, the foundation to your wardrobe and to your day. When a guy goes in to try on clothes, uh, it's a very easy kind of a process. It either fits or it doesn't fit, and that's done. You know, it's I love watching when men shop because they go in, they try something on, and the first thing, if it doesn't work for them, they say, hey, go find me something that works for me. The clothes don't fit me. And that's a really healthy attitude. Unfortunately, what I see when women come into the shop or in any boutique, they put something on and they go, oh, I need to change this. I need to do that. I need to work out more. I need to do this. No, you need an outfit that fits you better. You're fabulous the way you are. You are beautiful. You know what? If you want to get more healthy, there's always room for that, right? Absolutely. I recommend the Mummy Run program, which I'm currently on. You know, Mummy Run here, Mummy Run there, Mummy Run the business, (laughs) Mummy Run the house. And, And then, you know, hey, that's a great program. But stay healthy, eat right, exercise. But you know what's the most important thing? Be kind to yourself. You know, I'm going to say this in a change room. I see it all the time. Women are dangerous drivers. Not on the road, but with their self-esteem. Oh, on and the road, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to have issues about that one. I just drove in here. Got to talk about pickup trucks. Actually, my wife is one of the best drivers. So that stereotype <laughs> is out the window. Out the window. And I used to work in the insurance industry. So trust me. I <laughs> know. Uh, teenage boys driving cars. Not good. Okay. Not good. All right. So women in the dressing room are bad drivers. They are. They like to drive their self-esteem right into brick walls. Ah. And you know what? Instead of going, hey, I have a great healthy body that's serving me well. I'm going to find great stuff that fits me. And let me tell you, when you take on that attitude that says, I'm going to find great clothes that flatter my shape. You walk out of that change room and you glow. And the confidence that comes out is amazing. And, you know, I've got a great story to share with you. I had a lady come in and she had just done this great thing for her body, lost 50 pounds, but did it walking. Hmm. So she lost it over a year and a half, looked great, still, you know, nice, pleasing figure. And she got fit and she got that good bra, walks out. And about 10 minutes later, she comes back in and she says, well, I think I need to buy a couple more. And we were going, okay, well, that's good news. And we were like, what made you make that decision? She said, I was just walking down to Starbucks, head held high, back straight, great posture. Gentleman looked at me and said, 
nice tits. <laughs> and she goes, you know, okay, little redneck comment, but dang it. And she was wearing a jacket. It wasn't like she was flashing the girls, but it was that confidence that just came through. And you know what? If it starts from a good bra, hey, start it from there. You know, it's the one piece of your wardrobe that's going to get the most use. It's not going to be like that evening gown that you spent $1,000 on and you've worn once. The bra will get worn every single day. I had no idea she had just come from your store. I <laughs> I am totally sorry about that. I just... <laughs> oh, my God. It was the best thing. It just, it was amazing what it did. It validated her self-esteem in that moment when she was taking that risk to be happy. And you know what? It's a lot easier to be happy with yourself than to be negative about yourself. Nice. And that's what we focus on in Esteem Lingerie. Right on. Okay, so throw the website out there. Lots going on all the time. Love talking to you, Ange. Okay, well, we're in the West Bank Town Center Mall. Come into the shop and see us. If you aim for the Starbucks drive through you can't miss us. And our website is Group. .ca, and if you don't know how to spell lingerie, think lingerie. Always fun and always causes me to break out in just a tiny little bead of sweat. Angela, esteemed lingerie in West Kelowna. Thanks for coming by. Take care.